Have you ever sat down to do some work, but before you know it, an hour's gone by and you've barely ticked off one thing? Or maybe you've opened 10 tabs for research but ended up drowning in clutter with no idea of what's worth keeping. Or perhaps you've tried to focus, but every ping, pop or bit of noise around you just drags your attention away. Well, here's the good news. What if your browser could actually help you focus instead of pulling you off track? So in this video, I'm covering 10 must-have Google Chrome extensions that will save you hours, keep you sharp, boost your productivity, and once you start using them, most of these tools you're not going to want to work without. Sounds good. And I'm going to leave a link to all these tools for you in the description box below this video. Hi, my name is Steve from entrepreneurnut.com, and on this channel, I share tips, tools, and tutorials to help you work smarter, not harder. Now, let's get into the video. So for our first Google Chrome extension, let's start with something that completely changes the way you capture and organize information online. And that tool is called Glasp. Now Glasp is like a digital highlighter, but on steroids. Now here's why I love it, and you probably will too. So first of all, with Glasp, you can highlight anything on the web, including any web page or PDF. You can store all your highlights, make notes on them, save all of that to your free Glasp account, and even interact with Glasp's AI to further research your notes if you want to. Once Glasp is installed, you'll see the Glasp logo in your browser at the top right here. And then at this point, I can highlight and save notes on anything I read on the web. For example, if I want to highlight this paragraph, this little menu option appears right here and I can click on a color to highlight. And then I can also tweak this to X if I wanted to, add tags, create quote shots, or I can even create notes on this as well. For example, if I click this little note icon, you'll see in the sidebar here, I now have this little note section and this will then now store all my notes as well as all my highlights to my Glasp account. And the cool thing is, if if I close this web page now and then come back to it later, all my highlights will still be here. And if I wanted to see all my highlights I've been collecting over a research period, all my highlights and notes in general, I can just come to the glass icon in the top right. Then we have this menu option that appears on the right hand side. I can click underneath my name where it says see your highlights. This will open up my glass account where I can see the highlights and any notes associated with it that I've created. And I'll also see a list of all the other web pages that I've highlighted using glass appearing right here. I can simply click on any of these and see my associated highlights as well as clicking on this link right here to revisit that web page if I wanted to go back to it for whatever reason. Now back to our article right here, besides just highlighting sections and creating notes, another thing I can do is get a summary of this entire article if I didn't want to read the whole thing, but I just wanted to summarize it and come to the top, click on the glass logo in my browser and from the options, I have this option that says summarize page. If I click on this, it looks like the little robot icon. It now opens into ChatGPT. So you need to be logged into ChatGPT in another browser for this. It'll pull in the whole article and now ChatGPT will summarize the article for us. And now this, of course, is a massive time saver. Now that's pretty cool, but Glass can also summarize YouTube videos for us too. Now this is really helpful. Let me show you this. So here we are on YouTube and let's say, for example, I wanted to watch this video, but it's 20 minutes long. Don't actually have time to watch it, but I just want a summary of everything that's covered in the video. So all I need to do is click on the video. I'm just going to pause the video. And on the right hand side, we now see this Glasp feature right here. So what I can do is click on this little ChatGPT logo right here, and then Glasp will open up ChatGPT and pull in the transcript. And then it will summarize the whole transcript for us and giving us all the timestamps for the whole video, just like that in a few seconds. So pretty powerful, right? Now that's your notes sorted, but what if you're working with colorless designs or branding? Now that's where our next tool comes in. Now color matching can be a nightmare unless you have a Chrome extension like Colorzilla. So with Colorzilla, I can come to any website or any page online, click on the Colorzilla icon right here, I can select the option to pick color from page, and now I can hover over the color I want. So if I wanted to get the red of the brand color for YouTube, if I click on this, and now in my Colorzilla dropdown, I can see the color and copy the color code. So for example, if I'm working in Canva and I wanted to create a play button and use the same color that YouTube uses, I now have that color I can change for my design. Now with Colorzilla, you can also pick colors from outside your browser too. For example, if the color's on your desktop or any other kind of app you're using, and Colorzilla will also store all your color history right here. And if I click on this, we'll see all the colors we've chosen organized in a nice little grid right here. So it's easy for you to come back and access them if you need them again. Okay, so now with this next tool, if you need an easy way to record your screen or to record yourself with using a teleprompter at the same time, and then be able to easily send that video to a teammate or a prospect or a client, then this next tool can be a game changer for you. So this free screen recorder is called Hippo Video and link is in description. It's very easy to use. So once you've got the Hippo Video Chrome extension installed in your browser, just come to the browser icon in the top right here. If you click on it, 
and straight away hippo video opens up and you first need to select the camera you want to use right here and then you select which microphone you want to use from the drop down right here and then in the left sidebar right here you can opt if you want the video to have your webcam as well if not then just click on this and you see my webcam disappeared or if you just want the webcam only and no screen sharing then you'll switch screen sharing off and if you want to create a video with no audio then you just turn the mic off right here Pretty simple. Then once you're ready, you click the big red button and you're good to go. And then the Hippo video will ask you which of your browser tabs you want to record. So you select the correct tab and click share. And now Hippo video gives you a countdown timer. And now here you go. We're recording live right now into Hippo video. Once you're happy with the video, you can stop in the bottom right corner here. And it's as simple as that. To share your video, you can simply click the copy link button in the bottom right corner right here. And then send that link in an email or you can just type in the recipient's email and name right here and send from Hippo video. Now, like I said earlier, Hippo Video also allows you to use the teleprompter feature for free as well, which I'll show you in a minute. But if you had a paid plan, then you could also create sales pages, use their AI video editor, create full HD videos, use virtual backgrounds, add custom branding to your videos, as well as interactive call to actions in your videos as well, like call to action links and payment links and so on. That said, let me just quickly show you the free teleprompter. So for this, you'll have to log into your Hippo Video account. And then in the sidebar on the left over here, you'll see under HV Studio, you'll see the teleprompter scripts. Click on this, you'll see all your past scripts right here, and you can click on new scripts in the top right corner. Now here is where you can paste in our script right here. So just for demo purposes of this video, I'm just going to take this information that ChatGPT gave us for our keto video transcript. I'm going to paste that right in here. And I'm going to name my transcript and then click save. So now our script is set up. In order to create a video and use a teleprompter, we need to come back to the top of over home and then go to dashboard. And in the top right, we'll see a button that says create. Click on this. Now here we can select which type of video we want to create. I'm just going to go for the camera only option. And now here we see we have the teleprompter option. So I'm going to click on this to toggle it on. And the top right, I can now change my script right here. I'm going to select the keto script. And then from the controls right here, I'm going to adjust the text size to be a little bit bigger. And I'm going to adjust the line height as well to be a bit more spaced out. And I can also adjust the scroll speed too. So once I hit the record button, the script will move at this speed and I can just look at my screen, read my script off my teleprompter and record my video. So not bad for a free tool, right? But wait till you see this next one. Also free, but limited features if you're using the free version. But it's an absolute must have if you're using YouTube for your marketing or if you're trying to grow a YouTube channel. So vidIQ is absolutely one of the best YouTube tools out there in my opinion. And with the vidIQ Chrome extension, you can browse YouTube and get super useful information on your keywords, as well as spy on your competitors and uncover how well their videos are doing and get valuable information on why their videos are doing so well. For example, looking at this keyword right here, best AI tools, the vidIQ Chrome extension, as you can see, I have it installed in my browser right here. First of all, gives me some info in the sidebar right here, gives the keyword an overall score out of 100. And basically the higher the score, the better. Gives you an idea of the search volume as well as how stiff the competition is. And then when we look at the competitor videos, we can see right here, we now have a few extra things appearing next to these videos. So this marker right here, VPH, stands for views per hour. So this video is getting around 1300 views per hour since it was published four days ago. This one right here is currently getting 49 views per hour. Still, even though this guy published this video six months ago, we can see this particular video is a 17x outlier for this guy's channel. So already we get an idea that this keyword may possibly be a good one to go after. And if we click on one of the competitor videos, I'm just going to pause the video. But what we can see in the right sidebar here is video Q is now giving us some detailed information now on this particular video of our competitor. You can also go to this overview tab right here, see some more information about this creator. You can see their video tags as well as the specific tags that this guy used for this specific video. And I can copy those if I want to and use them on my video. And then we also have an AI coach button right here too. Now this is super impressive, but I don't think it's available on the free version of this Chrome extension. So just bear that in mind. I am using the paid version, but it can do things like analyzing the hook of the video, giving you a summary, give you similar ideas, your channel based in this video, give you more ideas on how you can boost your subscriber count and loads more. So I click on analyze the hook of this video. VidIQ's Chrome extension right here is going to assess the strength of the hook in this video and break it down for you, tell you about the value, the unique angle, the call to action he's using, the emotional hook, visual elements, urgency that he's using, the type of question he uses to engage the audience and so on. So this is super powerful information that you can then use in your video too. So if you want to use VidIQ's Chrome extension, I've left the link in the description below this video. Okay, quick pause here. If you're getting value from this video, please go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. On this channel, I share step-by-step -step guides on how to simplify the tech side of your business to help you be more productive, how to actually use AI and other smart tools the right way, and how to turn those tools into systems that can potentially bring in more revenue. So if that sounds good to you, then I'd love you to be a subscriber so you don't miss what comes next. Now, enough about spying on our competitors. Let me show you this next tool, which is really handy to help you multitask if that's how you'd like to work. 
So Picture in a Picture is a handy Chrome extension that will enable you to play videos while you continue to surf the web. Now this is really handy if you don't have two monitors, but you still want to watch a video while you're doing other things online and even changing browser tabs. So once the Picture in a Picture extension is installed in your browser right here, all you need to do is select the video you want to watch, then click on the icon for Picture in a Picture. That'll then put the video down here where I can drag it around anywhere I want to on the screen. And I can also resize as well if I want it larger or smaller. And I can play the video. It's going to turn the volume down on that for a moment. And I can even switch tabs and my video will still play while I'm researching what I want to research on the web. Now, productivity isn't just about handy little tools. It's also about managing your time properly. So that's where this next Google Chrome extension comes in. Now, the Marinara Pomodoro Assistant is a time management timer that lives in your browser. It's based on the famous Pomodoro time management system, which is a proven time management and productivity technique that works for a lot of people. Where you pick a task, you work on that task for 25 minutes, you then take a five minute break, then you do another 25 minutes on that task, and you repeat for four times, and then you take a longer 15 to 30 minute break. So with that in mind, once you've installed the Pomodoro timer into your browser, you can pin it in your browser right here, and you'll see the logo looks like this little tomato right here. If I hold control down on my key, keypad and then click my mouse button on the logo. I can then start the timer or I can start short breaks or long breaks. If I click on start focusing, now we can see the Pomodoro icon has changed to 25 minutes. That means the 25 minutes timer has already started. And if I want to go to options right here, I can open up the settings if I want to change the duration. If you find perhaps 30 minutes or 45 minutes just happens to work better for you. And then you can select what kind of sound you want to ring once the timer goes off and there's loads to choose from. And then also under history, you can track all your sessions and monitor your productivity and your time management. Now, have you ever been browsing the internet and you see a font style that you really like on someone else's website and you'd like to use that font on one of your projects, but you just have no idea what that font actually is? Well, this next tool makes it super easy for you to know instantly what that font is so you can use it too. So Font Ninja is a simple but super useful Chrome extension and once installed, you'll see the Font Ninja logo in your browser right here. And all you need to do now to identify different fonts is if you visit someone's website, you like the look of some of the fonts that they're using right here. You just simply click on the Fonts Ninja logo. Fonts Ninja quickly analyzes the site right here. And then when you hover over any of the text, Font Ninja will tell you exactly what the font is, as well as the size they're using and the color. And if I click on any of the results, I can see the font right here. I can bookmark it, so save it in my Fonts Ninja library, ready to use for later. And Fonts Ninja also suggests other similar fonts too. So pretty simple, but super handy. Now for this next Google Chrome extension, if you're a person who works online and you have like millions of tabs open, but then at the end of the day, you wanna shut your computer down, but you don't wanna lose your tabs, you wanna be able to come back to them later. So if that's an issue you have, then this next tool is a lifesaver. So Tab Session Manager is a super handy Google Chrome extension to help you manage your tabs, save them all under different folder names, so you can then quickly and easily open them and access them all as they were whenever you wanna work on them again. Now as an example, look at all the tabs I have open here. I'm ridiculous, I know. That's generally how I work. It does get a bit of a pain managing all these tabs. Once the tab session manager is installed, all you need to do is come to the icon once you've pinned it to your tool tray then click to open. Now here you can click on the save button right here to save all the tabs and then you can name the folder of all these tabs to whatever you want to. And then I can shut my browser down, shut the whole computer down. And then when I want to open all these tabs up again, I can simply click on the open button right here and it'll open all those tabs exactly how they were for me. So super handy to keep yourself organized and no longer will you have to lose any tabs just because you want to shut your computer down. Now this next tool is awesome. I love this one. So if you want to be able to read faster and absorb more online while you're working, then check this out. Now Swift Read is a brilliant little extension that will help you read anything online faster, be it a web page, a PDF, an EPUB, or even an Amazon Kindle, and improve the absorption of the information too. So once this is installed, you'll find this little orange icon in your tool tray once you've pinned it to your browser. And from here, you can open the PDF reader or the EPUB reader or the iCloud reader or the Amazon Kindle reader too. And when it comes to web pages, let me show you an example. First of all, I could just right click and select Swift Read right here to select all the text to read everything or I can highlight just certain aspects of the text. Right click on my mouse, select Swift Read, and now Swift Read will open the content right here. And when I hit the play button, Swift Read will play the information in such a way it makes it much faster for me to read, plus improve my absorption of the info too. So if I press play right now, this is how Swift Read will show the information to you. I can also change the speed right here if I want to make it faster or slower. I can also change the numbers of words at a time, as well as adjusting the font size as well, and get it exactly how I want it. I press play, and now this is much more easily able to read at this speed. So Swift Read is free, but if you want to upgrade to the Pro, then you can also have the option right here to have Swift Reader's AI voiceovers read the content for you. There's lots of different accents as well as languages that you can choose here too. For example, let me play you a couple of these example voices. 
This sample allows you to hear my voice. This is how I'll read text out loud to you. This sample allows you to hear my voice. This is how I'll read. Esta muestra te permite escuchar mi voz. So super handy, right? Now for this last tool, let's wrap it all up with a tool that's going to save you paper, ink, and hair pulling. Baldy. So Print Friendly allows you to clean up any web page, remove things like ads, and even highlight text, and get it exactly how you want it before you print it off or email it to a friend. So for example, I'm on this sports article with the BBC, but it's quite a lot of stuff going on in terms of the header, and then there's sidebar here, a lot of other stuff I wouldn't actually want to print off. And we've got stuff going on in the footer down here as well. So what I can do is I can come to Print Friendly at the top here because I've already installed it in my browser. Click on the little icon and I have a few options, but I'm going to choose this option here, which is Print Friendly Page. Now, straight away, the page is converted into a print friendly version. However, we're not done yet. What I can also do is click this edit button right here and then anything that I don't want in here, like this image source, I can delete that, delete this as well. And I'll probably delete all of this and I'll delete this stuff all here as well. If I don't need any of that. And then I can choose a highlighter and I can highlight any sections that I particularly wanted to highlight. So when I print this, these sections will really stand out to me. And of course, you can even delete your images too if you didn't want the images in there, or I could bring that back. And then I can export this to a PDF, or I can click print to print this, or I can click the email button right here to email it to a friend or colleague. Now, these tools are going to be a massive time saver and improve how efficiently you work online. Now, if you also need to do design work, for example, your social media posts or creating ads for Facebook or doing design work on your website or landing pages, then you can massively speed up the process by leveraging Canva's AI tools. And I'll show you exactly how to use all of them in this video right here.